Hey there, I'm John Cox with Board Game Geek, and today we have Bill Fogarty of Calliope Games, and we're looking at the Mansky Caper, designed by Ken Franklin, it looks like. That is true. So what's going on here? Well, um, Big Al Mansky is the most famous, most notorious, meanest, most vicious mobster in the country. Okay. And we're all the lieutenants in his group. We're part of that little family of his, and he's done us wrong. And he's going on vacation, and we've decided we're going to go and rob his place. Oh, we're just going to knock his place over, steal all his stuff. We're tired of being disrespected. Sounds very smart. Absolutely. So we're heading over to his mansion. The thing is, Al doesn't trust banks. He <laughs> only trusts his own home security system with his safes and all the booby traps he's put in it. You know, he uses TNT the way other people use bank vaults and, <laughs> and you know, codes and all that kind of thing. So we're going to be going into the mansion. Uh, the, the game comes with 10 different rooms. You can randomly choose five, so it's going to be a different game every time. Mm -hmm. Each room is going to come with an actual 3D safe. All of Calliope's games comes pre-punched, pre-assembled, right out of the box, you're ready to go. Okay. So the safes are ready to go out of the box. All the pieces are ready to go. Mm -hmm. Each room will tell you how many pizzas you're going to put into the safe. There's going to be some loot tokens that'll go in. You're going to have some gasp tokens, and you're going to have some danger, danger tokens. If you draw a loot token, you draw it out, it's going to tell you how much money and how, much, how many gems you find. Sure. But since we're all part of this same little thing of ours, if you and I are both in the room, we've got to split whatever we draw equally. Because we, we see, hey, what you got over there? Right. So yeah. if I pull out a token that says three coins and two gems, we each get a gem, we each get a coin, and that extra coin stays in the room. Mm -hmm. Now, if we draw something else, then we can use it to kind of balance things out and keep on going. Sure. Or if you decide to leave the room, I'll just pick it up for myself. Okay. Now, why would you want to leave the room? Well, the answer is as you get uh, the various gems and resources, and this bits box that comes with it is going to be full of coins. It's going to be full of gems, nice shiny gems there. And uh, you're going to be putting all the stuff you earn on top of your stash bag here. You don't actually have it yet. Okay. So if you take a time to go back to the getaway car over here, mm -hmm. then you can take the loot on top of your bag, stick it inside your stash bag, and it's safe. All right. Now, why is it in danger? Well, if you draw a danger, danger token, there's a chance that the TNT might go off. <laughs> so you're going to roll the die. If it comes up, thumbs up, you're safe. If it comes up with a hand and a stick of dynamite, that means that your loot blew up. Anything not in the bag is gone. Okay. You draw, you draw a, a diamond with a stick of dynamite, everybody in the room just got their stuff blown up. Now your friend, not so happy with you at this But you point. keep your stuff. Everyone's stuff is blown up in the room. Okay. Everyone else in the in other the room. rooms, they're okay. I gotcha. If you draw the explosion, the entire room blows up, everyone loses everything in that, the safe's gone, there's five rooms, once all five rooms are blown up, then we figure out who's going to win. <laughs> and the last one is, there's the Almansky side. Right. That means Al came back a little early, he must have forgot his keys, and he, uh, he's going to wander through the mansion. We talked a big game about how we're going to knock over... Big Al. Mm -hmm. As soon as he shows up, we're hiding behind the lamps, we're hiding <laughs> under the desk, anything to keep out of sight of Al. He's going to grab everyone's loot that's there, put it back, so all that money that we've earned, everyone loses their money, but no no rooms get blown up at that point. Okay. And then we keep on going. Once we're done loot robbing the place, the person with the most stuff is the new boss of this new gang. One little thing, each, uh, each character has his own special ability mm -hmm. that he's going to be able to influence things, like you know, if you got to roll the die to see what happens with the danger, danger, maybe you get to roll two and choose the one you want. Sure. But I can't use my special ability. Okay. See, we've been doing this for a while, you and I and the whole gang, right? Mm -hmm. And you remember when I did that thing for you with the guy in the place? And sure. you owe me a favor? Well, this is a... I'm going to call in that favor right now. So each of us has a favor token. Uh -huh. I can give you the favor so that I can use your special ability. I see. Now, the problem is we only have one at the beginning. Right. So now I got none. So now it's my job to convince one of you mugs that you need to use my special ability I for see. you, and I'm going to try to get them back because they're currency that we can use and use each other ability. Yeah. So there's a lot of... You know, hey, hey, before you do that, uh, you know, maybe you want the mommy to help you out here. Makes sense. That's so, why it's standing up so that everybody can see. Right. So each side is going to have a story about the character, and at the beginning of the game, you're going to read that out, let everyone know what the ability is and who you are. You know, whether you're Sergeant Spike, who's you know, he fought in World War One, and now he's working with the gang, or Java Joey, who drinks so much coffee that he's moving a little faster than everyone else. Maybe he gets two draws out of the safe instead of one. Yeah. And uh, there you go. Game comes with all this stuff. It's all completely assembled, ready to go. 
The rules even come in this handy dandy comic book. Mm -hmm. The story I told you is the beginning of the of the comic book. Tells you the story, also teaches you the setup, walks you to the first turn. Sure. And then the back half of the comic is you know for those people who don't like pictures, who just want to read words, then the rules are written out in the normal I gotcha. rule book style. So that's the package, and that's the mask coming kit. out. Uh, we anticipate it'll be arriving in warehouses uh, in May, and so it should be out end of May, beginning of June. Awesome. So All there right. you go. Well, that's uh, the Mansky Caper. The Mansky Caper. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thank you.